advice me. He said, your friend determines your flight. Mm. Am I communicating? A good friend might be. Who knew me well back then? Saw my tears and I was crying. He said, don't you know you're very difficult with the fine shape? You can start modeling now. That's how I started modeling. And the, the, the modeling has gone down. The time that modeling was on, there was no fashion show that they did that I was not going to be in the front, front carry. Am I communicating? So it was that I discovered that God gave me a good shape. It was there that I discovered that I had a unique face. Those people call me the Asian lady, the Filipino lady, the Asian, you know, the Chinese lady. I see my, I see my face and my small eyes. <laughs> Am I communicating? So I had a unique feature. So when any fashion designer saw me with the grace of God upon my eyes, I speak God very early. Because it was the denouncement of my father that he was not going to train me and any girl in the family in the university or higher education that made me to seek this God. Am I communicating? So today it is not too late for you. The reason why you are hearing me is because God wants to look at you. God wants to distinguish you. So after that, I started one. But I was determined in myself. If my class is the girl can be mad. I said to myself, I'm not a mistake of Christian. There is a reason why God made me a female. So I used to get him to tell some of his friends, the girl is too brilliant to be a girl. She should have been a boy. And I said to myself, now me come make myself here. Why would you not be saying I should have been a boy? On my own, I said the girl must be something. I started digging the Bible. And I realized that it's a woman that is the life of generation. I realized that the woman is the one that gave back to Jesus. I realized that it was a woman that waited for Jesus when he came out of the grave. The woman who was here and came out of the grave. And by the way, in case you don't know, in case you don't know, whether you like it or not, there is a special grace that God gave to women. That is the power of intuition. Am I communicating to someone now? That is the power to be able to see things when they are about to happen if a woman is close to God. Am I communicating? Yes. You know what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 18, 22? It said, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtaineth the farm. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtaineth the from the Lord. Not just any wife, but a wife that has Christ in her. He said, Christ in me, the hope of glory. He said, The life that I live now is not the life of me, but the life of Christ who is in me. Am I, am I communicating? Yeah. So a woman who has Christ is a blessing to you. Amen. A woman who has Jesus is, is, is a destiny defined and a destiny helper to you. Because when you find her, her instincts are so sharp, her ideology is so sharp, her knowledge is so sharp that you will never miss it. Am I communicating? Yeah. But my father said no. By the grace of God, I fought my way through. I paid and I passed the journey. As I went through the rest of Nigeria and Sukkot for that four years, I paid for my school fees by myself, for myself. Like we said, the Bible says, it's a God all by himself. I am the carrier all by myself. I hear you. My yes, but you know, sometimes there is a reason why you are despised. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there is a reason why people align you or, you know, put you to the back line and want to push you down. But God has seen the great destiny in you and He wants to press you so that you can come back. Because if I was not denied of the blessings, I wouldn't be who I am. Yeah. There's a reason why you are suffering what you're suffering. Yeah. There's a reason why you are in pain today. There's a reason why you are aligned and magnified. Am I talking to someone? Yes. There's a reason why you are despised. It is because God wants to take you out. You are the next generation. Yeah. Jesus, God, I wanted to take the glory off of himself. Yeah. Somebody give him praise. Yeah. Yeah.